And all the members of Club Friends of Jesus. Those that are on their way. Tell us that the Lord said he likes to hear good words. 
Balaam. He did not want to listen to the words of Prophet Balaam. Because Balaam wanted to curse the children of God. Therefore, we are going to curse and break down all the bad words that servants of God may say. We're going to take authority to destroy. Whether it is our parents' words against us, whether it's our teachers or we've grown up against us, because authority has been given to us. Somebody said that you will not get married or you will not have children. Right now we are taking authority. Wherever you may be, go and destroy them. Take authority and destroy them. All those words have been said again. That you will not be successful. That you will not get married. That you will not have children.
The Lord said to Ezekiel, He said, These bones can come back to life. The same way the Lord wants to say to you, Take time within your life. Can your life actually have any sense in you? Can your life once more be right? Let your mouth prophetize. Where you are, begin to say good words upon your life. Say what you want the Lord to do for you. Say, God, I want to become the head, but not the head. Tell the Lord, I want my place within heaven to be secure. Say, I want when the Lord will return to take me over. Say, I want to be a person in good Say, I want to be married in a Where you are, begin to pray. Begin to say good words of prophecy. Say good things upon you. Say good things upon you. the Lord says to prophetize upon you. Prophetize upon your own life. Prophetize upon your life. Prophetize upon your heart. And allow the sinners to take over. So raise your voice where you are. Begin to thank God. Say thank you for all that he has done. Say thank you because he has heard your prayer. Say thank you because he has done what you have asked. Say thank you because he has protected you.
Papa I want to get have courage because the word of God is That's what's encouraged me to praise the word name of God. I really do have grace. I have the grace of all graces. I am going to ask for forgiveness because I'm a person who likes a bit of But the glory that the Lord has done for me Maybe we are humans and I do fall. But I always ask forgiveness as I'm doing this in front of the church. And in front of the pastor. May the Lord forgive my sins. Because I was a person who was literally dead. When I had my cardiac arrest, I basically died. And other people you see, they have a cardiac arrest and then they just die and leave. But I did four days in the coma until the next one. That's how I come to thank this God in his grace. When God has said that, that's what touched me to glorify the name of God. Because the Lord has given me the grace of all grace. I was born again. 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 Two weeks ago, I had palpitations. My heart wasn't beating properly. I had symptoms which occurred to me before I had my cardiac arrest. And it really bothered me a lot because of my flesh. I said, God. I said, God, is it, is, it, is it about to attack me again? Because if I have another cardiac arrest, it will be. So I asked the Lord to give me grace once more. My heart was beating as if you've been running for such a long time, and but it was doing it out of nowhere just suddenly. <laughs> and you'll see it will be really fast and then you'll come back to normal. <laughs> Sometimes I'll start to sweat. I said, no, I will not call the pastor for Let me back So ask for the glory of God. <laughs> but because we're in the campaign, if Nayem, if you Nayem, I said I have nothing else I can do, so let me sing for the Lord and the Lord remember me. So I said I'm going to rehearsals. And as I was about to go rehearsal on Thursday, I didn't feel very well. But I come to something that I usually do, and as soon as I see that occurring, I become uncomfortable. I said, no, let me just go to rehearsals. I called Father and something else told me to call him to end And as soon as I was thinking this, not even 10 minutes after the pastor, Father John, where are you? I said, I'm going to rehearsals. But I'm not very well because of though my heart is beating. I said, I'm going to rehearsals. He said, let's go into rehearsals and I'll pray for you. To be brief, went after the rehearsals. Father called me so that we could pray in touch. That Thursday he prayed for me. And I was like, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. I went back home, but there was still a bit of palpitation. I went back home, but there was still a bit of palpitation. When I went to sleep in the morning, as soon as I woke up, the Lord spoke to me and said, "Are you okay?" I said, "No, I'm fine." And then he said, "Are you going to go and sleep?" And I said, "No, I'm fine." And then he said, "Are you going to go and sleep?" And I said, "No, I'm fine." And then he said, "Are you going to go and sleep?" And I said, "No, I'm fine." And then he said, "Are you going to go and sleep?" This is a family that the Lord has given to me, therefore I have more joy in the world. I thank, want to thank God because I travelled for four months. I'm sure 
Everyone was following the news where there was a sickness of a virus going around in Angola and it would kill people in every day. But even then, I still... Before I traveled, I came to the front and the pastor prayed. You have to have a habit of when the pastor is praying, following his word. Okay, now when he was praying, he said, May you take your children there in peace and bring them back in peace. It was a very short prayer, but I took those words. And when I traveled, I forgot everything to do with business. When I got there, I changed my destination and I began to evangelize. I came back to the words when he said, see first of all. I said, I've made efforts before and nothing's working, so let, therefore let me try this Our father did say that the Lord remembers people who want And that is that spirit kind of entered me and I did not want to retire. I heard that there were sicknesses around that country. Everywhere I was going, and um, as I traveled for four months, where I was living, I went to a church which was nearby. When you, where we come from, we eat really good food. Um, my, ch my child was telling their pastor that when you're preaching, be careful not to preach the wrong things because my mother will And the servant of God, every time he finished preaching, he comes to me and asks me to preach well. And I said, right, the <laughs> And every time he'd come to me to ask me, I was a priest and I would tell them how to preach to her. So I told them whenever try and encourage others by giving them phone calls. So whatever I took from here I went to show. And the Lord truly remembered me by it. I traveled. I traveled, but I did not want to return, so I added more days. They did not say I could stay, and I said, Why? So I came back because I traveled through Belgium. Look at the love of God. Look at the love of Christ. As soon as, as soon as I stepped down in Belgium, as soon as I entered my child's home, I fell sick. The Lord that did me grace because if the Lord, if you're working for him, he can never allow you to die. And there are a lot of people dying, but the Lord knows his wants to say. Let's work for God not by 25%, not 90%. And if you want to work for God, work for Him wherever you is. It's not that when you go to Africa you want to show yourself. Be the Lord has done so. He has healed me from the sickness. I was bedridden, I could not do anything at all, and it scared me. I was even asking for little kids to pray. But as I was laying there, I would tell God that you, the prayer was that I'll go in peace and I'll come back in peace. And it did scare my children a bit, but I told them. And I'm just following the prayer. Mm -hmm. 
When my in-law told the hospital that I've come from Angola, they treated me well. But the Lord did me grace because of the prayers that we had. And I've come to thank God. I know a lot of people may not understand this, but for me it's a testimony. I've done a year and a couple of months within this place. But within the moments that I've been staying by the feet of our Father, I've learned a lot. A lot. I know I've created an alliance with my God. But I was a person who was still stumbling. Coming close to our Father. Listening to the word and how I stand up to read the word. It has truly changed my life. Through that, Papa, merci. Father, thank you. I know this is the place that the Lord brought me. It was not all of a sudden. I know that the place that I have entered, I'm asking for God to hold me. I made a promise. I said, God, you have healed my husband. I will truly work for you for my daughter. And I know that within this moment, the promise of the Lord is being fulfilled. Children of God, pray for me. It's always walking in fear and God. And this testimony is, is old, it's been like six months since, since it occurred, but I don't like testifying, however something's telling me to testify. There's two, but I'll cut it short. The first one is that my elder sister is in Congo. She was very sick. And her sickness, she would just lose weight. She was old, but then she was weighing 20 kilos. But before she would weigh around um, 80. People thought that it was age. So everybody just rejected her and she was desolate. And me, myself, I will ask God for forgiveness because I also thought it was age. But since we've come, I always pray for her. Because her husband died, so they people think that her husband died because of AIDS and also she has AIDS. She'll go to the hospital, there is sickness cannot be found. We would pray to God and say, God, may Elisa show us the sickness. And when I traveled here, they stayed behind and we carried on praying. And in short, the sickness was found eventually. And the sickness that she had would cause people to have their spine to bend. She would walk bent with a stick. She doesn't stand. She usually used to sell things, but she would only sleep on the ground. They would have to take care of her when in everything. And she was basically a dead person. And it really did bother us a lot. And when the sickness was found, she had to be operated. 
that jour, mon from that day that the pastor prayed, my phone no longer rang. Oh, la la, 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 I want to also forgive this because there are also four people, but I could not keep it in. My name is Mother Celestine, the person that enters me in the conference is Mother Lidi. I've come to thank God because God is a true God. And I've come to put Satan to shame. On the things that he tried to do, he failed. And I first thank God because of the courage that I had. When Mother Arlette said that uh, those that want to enter the conference feel free, so I was encouraged to enter. On Thursday, I met with the leader of the Mother's Choir. As we spoke to her, and I had one rehearsal, but I adapted myself, and I've also started to work on That's why I want to thank God. Because the Lord also revealed to me the things that I needed to work for him. I spoke to the Father about it, and we're just waiting for his time to occur. That's why I want to thank God, and I told God, God. Ever since I've entered here, and because there was a campaign on the, on the second campaign, the first Sunday after, it was like today that I came. On the second anniversary, that's the first day I actually entered the show. I said to God, as I enter, as I enter this church, because I used to usually just enter through the conference. But I fully entered the church on the second anniversary of the conference. I said, God, this sickness, I, I receive insulin day and night. I cannot fast. I will fast today. I will put down the dose of insulin and I will fast today. Since then till today, I fast. And the recent one that the Father said, three days fast. I said, God, three days. I said, with my own strength, I fast. So I said, God, hold. give me strength to fall. Second day, it shook me. I, I said the way Father said, the Holy Spirit helped. In my own strength, I can do But with you, I am I could do three days. That's why I thank God. Since yesterday, I've only been able to because yesterday before um, I lost
Amalek. Lobi, na kotela manalikolo na ngomba, na lingen 
Satan and Zambé na lugo kona ngai. And Moses said to Joshua, choose us some men and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. Et ils prirent une pierre qu'ils placèrent sous, sous lui et ils s'assit dessus. Aaron et Hur soutenaient ses mains, l'un d'un côté, l'autre de l'autre. Douze, les mains de Moïse étant fatiguées, ils prirent une pierre qu'ils placèrent sous lui et ils s'assit dessus. Aaron et Hur soutenaient ses mains, l'un d'un côté, l'autre de l'autre. Et de sa main, et de ses mains restèrent fermes jusqu'au coucher du soleil. But Moses' hands became heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and her supported his hand, one on one side and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. 13. Et Josué vainquit Amalek et son peuple au tranchant de l'épée. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. 14. 14. L'Éternel dit à Moïse Écris cela dans le livre pour que le souvenir s'en conserve et déclare à Josué que je fasserai la mémoire d'Amalek de dessous les cieux. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this. Let's pray. Father of glory. God of Abraham. God of Israel. We leave this moment within your hands. May your spirit speak to us. May your spirit bless us. I take authority. Na authority. And the word that I have spoken today will not be confessed in this place. Upon anything that does not confess your name within this place. I take its power. And I throw it into dry places. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord of Nazareth, the living God. Amen. Amen. Tova. That's it. Praise his name. Because God is good. To be with God is good. Listen to me, people of God. I bless his name for the goodness that he did yesterday. May the glory go back to you. Because Satan truly did stand. But the Lord showed him that he is a God above all. Amen. 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 Today is preaching. When the Son of Man will return, will he see, still see faith on earth? When the Son of Man will return, will he see faith within people? That's a question. Hallelujah. Amen. We spoke of it last Sunday. The Lord now wants to help you. The Lord is speaking of faith. He said, when the Son of Man will return, when the 
When the trumpet will call. Tango Yesu akoya pona kukamata bayengebe. When the Lord shall return to take his righteous ones. Eske akokuta kundi makati na watu. Will he still see faith for the people? Is that question simple? It's a simple question. But you need to place your heart upon that question because it's dangerous for man. So, why is the Lord speaking to us of faith? Why is the Lord speaking to us of this question? The first thing, when you believe in God. The first gift that the Lord will give to people is called faith. Faith. That's the gift that the Lord will give to humans first. The gift of faith is what has allowed us to become the children of God. I will say in other ways the gift of faith that is what's allowed us to accede into the kingdom of God the gift of faith that is what has allowed us to receive what we are in need of. The gift of faith. That is what has given us faith that if the trumpets were to call right now, we are entering heaven. The gift of faith. It's what builds up hope within a man's heart. But the Lord wants you to know one thing. That faith is also tried. Let me say it in a different way. That once you receive faith, when you believe in God, you need to know that the faith that you have received was, will also be tried upon. I want to turn it. The devil he will try to attack your life one way or another. Sick. Problem. Problems. Difficulty. Difficulty. Ozan. Lacking. Minyoko. Suffering. Kofinam. Cursing. Koboyam. Rejection. Mission ya Satan is a The mission of Satan is what? Satan azolu kelongi na yote. Satan is not looking for your face. Satan azako luka. But Satan is looking for the faith that the Lord has given to you. Because that faith is what will allow you to have access to receive everything that your heart desires. May the Lord be glorified. Let me give you an example that the Lord has put within my heart. You can have a laptop. You have the tablet that we have. If there is no internet, you are not able to navigate exactly what to know what's happening on earth. But if this tablet is an internet, has internet, is connected, is connected to some sort of internet, you enter Google, you go into Facebook, you can check your email, you can check YouTube, you will check anything that your heart desires. You will be able to write a person a message even if they're in a different country. And ask them how are you. 
Feel that any more to the soul. And you would say it, tell so the like Lord. Papa or I spoke to Father Lauren. E, Papa Lord, I to and he's eating right now, but he said he's about to go out. Eloko nini etindi nazwa moye ya ko contacter Papa Lora partout dans le monde de What exactly has caused me to be able to have a way to contact Father Lora wherever he may be worldwide? It's internet. It's internet. No, Amen. Amen. Tika na Let me explain. Bomo ya moto. The life of a man. Is an example ya tablet o. Is an example of this tablet. So moto as we condima. If a person has faith, o komi na capacity ya onzambe. You now have the capacity of the Lord. O komi koresonel o koranza. You begin to think like God. You have power to speak. And what you have said will occur just like that. Let me say it in a different way. A man of faith. You have the capacity to change the domain the, the within a person's life. A person with faith. You have the capacity. To speak to the Lord, you write a message, send it into heaven, and you receive an answer. Hallelujah. Amen. Oui. Yes. There are SMS that occur between us and God. Do you also send the Lord a message? How many people send messages to the Lord? Amen. Some people are scared that you will be praying. SMS is basically praying. You want me to show you how I do mine? As soon as I say the living God, I want you to show me this. Or speak to me of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 That is SMS. Amen. When a person takes up their laptop, it has internet. It's an about virus. It has its own internet. There are also viruses which destroy the laptop. Is that wrong? Is that right? Huh? Amen. Ah, that was wrong. Only this is wrong. Is that wrong? Right. But you is this? There are viruses. That you must take care of. In other words, I want to say. Laptop and my own people are aggressive about virus. Your laptop can be aggressed by viruses. But you have a way of repairing it. No bad man. Let's go so sorry. Do you understand? If you're not yet there, then you <coughs> The land of a man. Virus is Satan. Virus is Satan. When you believe in God, know that the demons world will surely aggress you. Let's go so sorry. Do you understand? When they are aggressed, being aggressive. Because when a virus enters a laptop, even the internet no longer has virus. But when the devil attacks you, he first of all attacks the faith of that person. If you do not understand, you see people begin to cry, and then they're crying, they're murmuring, they're asking themselves, how is this exactly? Do you understand? 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 Tang onyo so laptop is what a problem. Ya virus ba me ma kaya mo na ma mezo o ba sa specialize mo na ya. Every time a laptop, a virus enters a laptop, those laptops are taken into companies which are specialists when it comes. Me mo li mo ya mo tu. But the soul of them. Ezaka kana mezo mo. There is only one place. The throne of God. The throne of God. Even if your faith was a bit on the rocks, yes, you are thinking that you don't have the money to buy the new laptop. The Lord has sent me today to take your house towards His throne. He's repaired. 
That's what we say so that he can bring it back to normal. So your faith can work the way it's supposed to. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, brothers. When you believe in God, the dark world will fight against you. The Bible is telling us upon Israel who was a family of God. Israel, the Israelites believed in God. They left Egypt. And all sorts of things occurred. Hunger. The need of water. And the Outside of hunger and thirst, those are viruses which attack them on the world. They met with one nation called the Amalek. Amalek. The Amalek. But they decided to combat Israel. They decided to fight against Israel. But they decided to fight against them. They decided to fight against them. Tell your neighbor, luckily I came. So, the Lord has done me good now. Hallelujah. Listen carefully. I'm full of joy in a way that I'm not able to express it. But my joy, I said to God, I don't know what else I can give to you. Let me say something. The Lord has put within my heart. When Satan decides to aggress your life, do you not look at the aggression of Satan? But look at what's hidden behind that problem. What exactly? Because I'm fine. There is no problem. And something comes out all of a sudden. A believer of Christ. That the Lord has one language that He wants to use upon my life so that I can receive a testimony. You see, I just think it's a curse. I don't understand. I don't know if I need a deliverance. They will deliver you and you'll get tired. Because every day when you try, if you try today, it's not finished. There will be another song. If the Lord has authorized it simply for His glory, let's continue. He will bring you all sorts 
sorts of things, but if you do not pay attention to them, you will leave yourself in distraction. Before you answer anything, before you react on something that's important, sit down refresh. and think about it. what is ahead of us. Amen. 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 My Bible says, Moïse amatili koroya mungoma. But who is this went up a hill? Joshua asuri lombe ba zana shan de matai. Joseph and Joshua, sorry, took up the mighty men and they were at war. But on top of the mountain, but Moïse says his hands were up in the air. He would pray. If he put his hands down, Israel, the Israelites began to lose. But as soon as he lifted his hands, Israel has the Israelites had strength. Moses came to understand one thing. I'll be okay. He said, right. Because my hands are weak. He took a stone. He sat upon it. When he sat upon it, he had Aaron and he had her. He said, you hold one hand. He sat upon a stone. I want you to understand. So why did Moses take a stone to sit down? And he said, okay, hold both my hands. You stand there. Stand there. You stay there. You stay there. And lift up my hands. Now, man that is in the battleground must succeed. I want to tell you this evening. The devil. In the desert he does not enter. Listen to me. You want to be successful? When you pray, Are you okay he has not heard. Take him to the desert. Amen. Amen. So if the devil does not listen, you pray. And you see that he carries on being persistent. Take them on top of the mountain. Do you not stay there? Stand up and go up the mountain. Once you get up the mountain, then lift your hand. You see a person who lifts up their hands. There is a person who feels the power. They're not capable. Now. Every time somebody comes out, the first thing they will tell you is lift your hand. You lift your hands. You say, I have no power. You ask for a person. You say, I have no strength. Moses, Moses got to the mountain. He took the stone and sat down. He lifted his hands upon the people. He said, We cannot do this. But you, our God, you are capable of doing something. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My Bible says. They held Moses. Moses' hands. Till the evening. And Joshua was victorious. The Lord said to Moses. He said, Moses, write it. Write it. Write it. He said, as from today. I will erase from your mind that the Amalekites even survived on this earth. Let me say it in the When you believe in God, you need to know that all the battles that you will encounter, the Lord will fight for you. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Stop crying. 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 This campaign, you've just heard of it. You've heard of it. Our fellow servants of God did everything so that this campaign does not go forward. Since on the 3rd of March, the Lord told me to stop eating. I did not know the reason. I said, right, maybe this is just unusual. So I did not eat. I just drink tea in the evening. If that day I'm supposed to eat. Or else I just eat a bit of peanuts. 
Every time the devil Believing God is good Listen to me They're not finished. Till today they exist. Hallelujah. Amen. We started to pray. The Lord said, Tell all my people, everybody up in the mountain. You be fasted. I'm telling you, I'm blessed by God. You're a Listen to me, bro. The Lord is not asking us for money. Because there was one person who paid for the war. They are not see the person. Or are they here? The Lord said, everybody fast. On Monday, I went on TV. We had a show. I even prayed to God. I said, God, give me a heart to love those that hate me. Forgive those people. I went back home. And the Lord said, Boyanga, they will keep throwing stones at you again. People that we pray with at 3 a.m. I said, listen to what the Lord has said. The Lord has opened my spirit. And he said, look. There is one more which separated us. I'm on one side and they're on the other side. There was a lot of them. The Lord said, it's a war that has separated you. But do not fear a thing. It got to Friday. The Lord said, do not even drink tea. My Do not drink water. I said, right. I said, Father, I'm listening. See, believing in God is good. But walking with God is hard. I'm not able to decide for my own life. Maybe you will decide for you. But me, I'm no longer deciding. We prayed at five. And I asked God. Show me exactly what will occur in the camp. Tell me. The Lord revealed to me. Servants of God within this country. The Lord revealed to me a meeting that they were doing so that nobody should attend the campaign that was about to take place. When I woke up, I just told my wife, I said, Right. The Lord is truly fighting. Obey God. Obey God. If he says do not eat, do not eat. Are you listening? Are you listening? The devil. He has a amount of stress that he walks around with. He has it upon his head. He walks around with it. You know the need of Satan is what? That he should give us stress so that, so that people do not come. The Lord said, wait, wait, they will not sleep. Listen to God. Listen to God. Moses! He stood up to pray. If you live, the Lord speak, listen. 
I did not know. Then come up and you that no. Somebody called me and said, "But you know Jesus." Or they cursed you. Amen. And then the Holy Spirit reminded me that I told you there was some things that you, but they will not touch you. But they will only throw things. And those stones that they're throwing is simply words. I was surprised. Even the conference, they said that they started it, but the people that are saying this, I do not. Children of God, hold on to your faith. Are you listening? If I ask you for money, ah, then find elsewhere to go. But if I come here, I'm showing you that the Lord is returning. And each and everyone should work for God the way they wish. I'm telling you that stand firm. Amen. What exactly does the Lord want to say to us this evening? Israel. Israel. It's you. Israel. Israel. It's them. Israel. Israel. It's them over there. Israel. Israel. It's each and every one of us. Israel. 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 It's each and every one of us. We have a stone. We do have a stone. The Amalek is Satan. 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 Those are fights. They're not fighting against me. Because the level of faith that the Lord has given to me is a power no return. Tell the name of the Lord shall return. Israel has all the Amalek has all the But the Amalek is looking for you. I follow these things on the internet. The things that they're saying. With the beginning of the end, I do not know. But the person that is speaking of this, I do not know the evil. Let me tell you. You see Boya, but you don't know Boya. I see Boya, but the only person that knows Boya is Boya. Even if you eat what you want and you drink with them, you do not know them. The person that knows that one is God. The person that knows that husband is God. You must move away from the level of just asking the Lord gift. You are within this church. I want you to get to the level of sending Lord SMSs where you ask a question and you receive it. I do not think you understand exactly what I'm saying. I want. It means a problem will occur. So I'm going to the throne. It's a mother that's here. We came to the campaign. And the Lord revealed to her the rapture. She came to see me yesterday. He said, What was surprising? I saw you with your family. You were sleeping, you were sleeping, you were sleeping you were praying for the campaign. For the campaign. I saw one child came to me. You were full of joy. Within minutes that child changed and became very sad. And at the end of what they said to me, said Jesus is returning. Put three fingers up. He said the Lord is returning. The mother is here. Children of God. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. The Amalek. They knew that they were speeding. Uh, right. Is that the, the way? It's the truth. 
Let me tell you. Is that so? Is it true? Now, I feel sad about the mess. Even if someone leaves it, they're not going to go back. I doubt it. Because the level that the person's face is at. One day I asked within the conference. Like I want every church to be there or every morning. Now, you conference. I heard in the conference. Somebody said the church that I'm going to now, there's nothing valuable that I'm listening to. Oh, friend. Pro the dark one will find against you. I do not know. The Amalekites have attacked you. They're trying to look for you, Israel. They will attack you. They are looking for your children. The Amalekites will attack you. Your family is to be born. But the Lord is in you. So you need to know that He has the law. Learn. Did you never fought against me? 
You have found the man to fight. Say to the entrance to the whole of Canaan. They try and think about the campaign that occurred before. Satan already told the people that you see the amount of fight that's going on. No one will have to go over I told them that the Lord is all that sent. Stay quiet. He said, I want to transmit to you a message. Just send me to speak. He said, the Lord revealed to me. He has removed, revealed to me an altar. But on that altar, the Lord showed, revealed to me the feet of people, how they are stepping. People's feet are just attacking each other. And a voice said, yeah. He said, look at the job that I set my servants to do and they are no longer doing. What they have fallen upon. One preacher, another one goes to contradict. One preaches the truth, another one goes to try to destroy them. But look at what's occurring. Look at your right hand. She looked. She said, so where you sitting down? The Lord said, you see that man? I am the one that said that. I am with him. I am proud of the job that they have given. I said, right. This is great news. I said, the Lord has done you grace. Amen. Let me give you an example. We're coming to church. We're serving. You in your head you're thinking of money. Papa Laurent Lawrence mind, he's thinking of the souls of God to be saved. The two people are not the same in front of God. Do you understand? The Lord can see the heart. He does not. He does not. He does not. Their life is on. Day and night. There is no help. You have said. But you're there thinking of Amalek. Amalek. Our hands are simple. Grace is what? The stuff. The stuff. The stuff. The stuff. The the Lord is your life. Listen to me. I don't know what type of child you may be going through. But do not go backwards. If you're on the ground, you're praying, you're eating, you pray, and it does not work. So move away from me. So right, say to keep persisting. With my wife, with my children, with my husband. I'm going to the Go up into the mountain. See the mountain. Satan does not go up. Oh, no. no. Satan. Satan. Where the person is on Satan. Satan will come to try to That's 
Jesus. Do you understand? You know the story of Jesus. When Jesus went up the mountain, Satan did not go. The Bible says what? When Jesus came down, that's when he encountered the Savior. Do not fear anything. I want to tell you children. We have a God. Listen. We have a God. Maybe you see yourself as unvaluable. Because maybe your family. Or the things that you may be going. You're saying to yourself. Does God even exist? Does God even exist? The people 
have troubled your heart. You will never even think of that. Hallelujah. When the Lord will say to Moses that you'll not even think of those things, what does it mean? What does it mean? Hallelujah. You must be careful with God. In this country, I've seen people play around with God. People are playing. I've seen the anger of God. One problem. My wife is here. In Congo. That person. They had no job. He prayed upon them. There were, he was a driver. The Lord blessed him so that he could travel. When he received. He took the money. He had other women outside whom he traveled. He'll come from an island. He'll come to where they usually sell food. At home. He could do two days, he does not. As soon as he gets home, it's simply so that he can change your clothes. He takes the wife cries. The wife cries. The wife cries. The wife comes to Christ. And he's asked, so we said, welcome. His name was Brother Menga. 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 Okay. We sat down. One of them, another servant of God was advised. We sat there. So he sat there with his wife and his servant. They were advising him and he was simply, um, because he became defensive. The Lord said, do not speak, boy. I'm going inside. I left them outside. I said, brother, you do not want to listen to this advice. You want to discover what's behind you. The Lord is angry. I simply want to do it. The advice I wanted to give to you, the Lord has told you not to. I wash my hands. That's your problem. My fellow servant of God said, how are you doing? I said, bro, deal with the situation. I'm not there anymore. They separated and they went. The husband with his wife. He quickly traveled. He took them. He left. The, the car that he was, he was driving. All his flesh was removed. He only had a burn. Was surprised at three a.m. My wife is here. At that moment. At that time, my first son was still very little. They came to knock at the door. The ambulance was there. What's wrong? So we've come quickly to look. His hand, with just the bone, was there. I said, Brother Menga, if you confess, they will not amputate you. The Lord will bring back flesh. But if you do not confess, there is danger ahead of you. That was it. I said, Brother Menga, if you're going to pray, pray, I'm not going to. There are other prayers where you're doing nothing. If that person does not recognize their wrong, there's nothing. Because they're not there, they're still living. They're living. They have a way of saying something. They went up into the mountain. One of his other wives said, they started to argue with his wife at home. His hand was rotting and he could see it. And at the end of all, they amputated. They did not amputate just half, they amputated a whole hand. As we speak, is it is in the village. Let me tell you. I'm serving a true God. If you get here, fear God. If they've sent you, tell them I do not want to leave my children as well. If you come, tell those that have sent you, say I. I need to my hand because I cannot play with you. The Lord has decided. He said that he is returned. He said he is Right. 
the Lord will save this people, but he will sacrifice you. Amen. Amen. The Amalekites. You will not see them. The Lord said he has raised them. But within this country is a word coming from God. If the pastor did not tell you of it, then these things would not be But because these things have been spoken, they did not stop. They come on lying off the line upon the servants of God. Prophets. Fear God. There are people on earth. You do not touch. Because the level of relationship that that person has with God, you don't know. Listen to me. When you're calculating to look for money, that person's life has been sacrificed. Is he my money? There are, do not calculate no. money. No. I'm telling you sincerely. My wife is I do not think of money. I know that money will come. But in my head, I will preach. Your mom will tell you. Lord, your people need to come. God, you've given me a God. Do not let each Father, I will not. Because all these people that have said, so that I have heard you, even The king has told me the Amalek, you will no longer see them. Those are not his names. You're here. A little witch that is within your family. You do not fear them. So can touch you. They touch you. So touch you. So they touch you. They touch you. They have tried. They can make an error with you. 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 The one who knows that truth. They say to him, but this one. This is not the point. I tell you every day. Do not fear. You don't know. So if you don't know, you then I'm telling that we are family. Let me tell you. The Lord is very proud. Listen to me. Those words, the Lord is the one that said it. The Lord repeats. I love you very much. God. God. You know why he loves me? It's because I have it more than my own life. My life is nothing. My life is nothing. My life is God. I tell you it's not my life. Becoming God is if you have a true God. Because this battle that we have just gone through, Even if it were for us, for man, we would not be victorious. Even if it were for us, we would not be victorious. But because we have to be with the one that is above, that's one thing. Hallelujah! 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 Listen to the conclusion of today's word. When you have been tried, that there is one glory ahead of you. I told my wife this I said to my wife, I said, wife, there is something great that the Lord is about to do. Because just suddenly people have become angry. You did not cry. Stay quiet. If you're tried, do not look at the issue that you're going through. But lift your eyes. Forward. What is ahead of Satan? What has caused Satan to be? Let me tell you, brother. If Satan knew that Joseph would become the prime minister, he would never have sent people to fight him. What I want to tell you is he's not smart. He's simply cunning. But he's not smart. If the sibling you don't hunger would occur. You don't pay would occur. You don't choose it. That was their blessing. They would never 
have fought against it. They would never have stopped. Satan would not even have wanted them to sell because he would have become a great person. Let me tell you. The Lord has given you your own enemy for your elevation. So keep my finger. Thank her. You also would just want to say something. Father, Father, how can you say this now? They've used it so that simply to be a step, simply to be a step. There are people that just made past steps there to climb. They needed to call Jesus so that everyone could pay attention. Look at how they advertise. Hallelujah! But the Amalek, the Lord said he has already said. All those that have fought against you, do not answer back. Do not say it. But stay quiet. Look at that person's life. The other people are walking and are in suits, but they are basically dead. It didn't give you that life. It's a right. How would you have a temple to walk? Because you like like this. God. He can make you suffer. Do you not play with God? If you think he will simply kill you, he will simply take out all your resources. And she says to him, he will pull out all each one. And then you lack. And now you, you have nothing. For you would know that God is a true God. All those are the answers. Do not cry. A child of God. God is good. Ah, <laughs> Lord, I don't know you are. Let me Jesus, 